Good morning, Community Bible. We are Donnie and Rachel Todd. Some of you may know us, some of you may be new to us, but about a year ago, we resigned from our staff roles at the East Campus to pursue missions full-time again. And back in 2014, Community Bible sent us out as missionaries. We came back for, for a time and now we're pursuing that again. So we just wanted to update you guys and let you know what we're doing and how you're directly a part of that as a partner church. Did you know that there are still 3 billion people in the world who don't have access to the gospel? That doesn't mean 3 billion people are not Christians or are not followers of Jesus. It means they don't have access. That means there are no believers around them or anywhere close to them to be able to tell them about Jesus. And that's a big problem. That's a lot of people. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 9, 37, don't pray for the harvest, the harvest is plentiful, but pray for the workers. And so that's what we're doing right now. We wanna tell you more about our mission. One of the things that drew us to our organization is the mission and vision. And, and it's this, it's that 80% of evangelical Christians already live in Latin America, Africa, and Asia. Uh, that's 80% that actually live outside the global West. But in reality, they only send about 20% of cross-cultural missionaries. So as a business person, I'm looking at the large piece of the pie and saying, man, that's a lot of people who can go specifically to share with people who don't have access to the gospel. So why is this strategic? We've identified more than 50 countries that have 1 million or more evangelical believers. And some of these countries might be in close proximity to other countries that have absolutely no access to the gospel. While other countries may have similarities in culture like Brazilians and Central Asians. Some countries may have similarities in languages like Egypt and the Middle East. Also, maybe they have different geopolitical affiliations that allow them access to certain closed countries, whereas Westerners may not have that same access. Our international headquarters is in Fayetteville, Arkansas, but we have field teams all over the world, and we use three different ways to help come alongside these believers and mobilize them to the unreached. We help them discover God's heart for the nations. We help them develop their own roles within God's global mission, and then we help them to deploy to the unreached. And we use discover, develop, and deploy within three strategic groups university students, healthy multi-generational churches, and mission sending agencies. So what does this look like? And what stories have you been a part of these past few months? It looks like this Peruvian college student who was mobilized through our trainings to discover that God has a heart for the nations, and then was moved to develop his own role in God's global mission, and then eventually to de be deployed to Afghanistan to live out what he had learned and shared the hope of Jesus with the Afghans. It looks like this young man named Bromwell, who's a Kenyan, who has a heart to see Nigerians mobilized to go to the countries closest to them who have no access to the gospel, to see Kenyans working together with Nigerians, to see uh, others close to them who are similar in language and culture mobilized to share the hope that they have in Jesus with those closest to them. And it looks like 100 Egyptian pastors who we trained recently about welcoming the 5 million refugees who are currently living in their country right now. And this month, as we will train them to train their people from their congregation to cross cultures into the Middle East to share the hope that they have in Jesus with unreached people who have no access to the gospel in that region. Donnie and I have the privilege of walking alongside all of our teams, both here in Fayetteville and all over the world, for the purpose of training and developing them in their roles and caring for them in their international settings. So we want to say thank you for being a part of mobilizing the global church to send missionaries to unreached peoples. You're not only making a difference in the River Valley, you're making a difference in the world.